Yo, dude, I want to fight that thing so bad. Fight me, bro. You won't. Uh, anyways, welcome back, everybody, to day number three now of the Exodus mod. Dude, last episode, we got some good stuff, man. We got the rain. We got the outbreak grenade. So it's a pretty cool, interesting bouncing Betty. Retribution, we got that too. Uh, Lawmaker. I'm only going to cover the new items, not the uh, existing vanilla items. We got the Bastion. Boomer, we got that too. And then I think that's it. Oh, wait, shields too. Devotion. Yeah, we got Devotion. That's a fun shield. And then finally, the Scrounger from uh, Bad Maul. That was a new, new drop. Uh, here's the build. Pretty typical for Axton, no bar, and off we farm. So I realized that we didn't jump into any DLC yet. And bro, I forgot, like every DLC in this game has new stuff. So we should probably head to a headhunter and farm over there because we have a lot to farm for. So maybe just go in order again. We're going to do Hollow to Hollow. In the past, the Vampire Pistol, you could farm it from Jocks, but it's been moved to an OP exclusive item because of how good it is. So that is no longer one of his drops. So he has a brand new drop, actually. And uh, yeah, we're going to be getting that. So let's get to it. So last episode, I did ask, what is the worst skill tree skill in the Borderlands franchise? Now, I did see two specific skills mentioned over and over, but there's one more that a lot of people probably forgot about. So our comment's going to be from Raze, Price Fighter. In Borderlands 1, if you're playing Brig, it is a tier 3 skill. You can max it out with 5 points, and when you punch enemies in Berserk, they drop money. But guess what? The money doesn't scale, and in the original BL1, there's no auto pickup, so you have to, like, you know, pick up your money manually. And it's pretty much nothing. It, it isn't worth it. Uh, the other two mentioned quite a bit were Rez, if you're playing solo on Maya, and Hellfire Halitosis on Krieg. Anyways, thank you for the comments, guys, and back to the video. We got it. Okay, we got all the keys. Now we proceed on. So we're gonna farm the anemia from the bloody cauldron chest. Okay, and the massacre too. Oh, and look at that, the vampires now, yeah, OP exclusive. Gun shield grenade, okay. Uh, save, read only. I'm loving this mod. And then shield. There we go. Give me the loot. <gasps> Nothing, all right, try again. That is the most overlapped I've ever seen two guns. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go ahead and put on the items on my person. Uh, and that'll make it so much easier to drop them faster. So boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's so much faster. Look at that. If it falls in. Whoop, barely. Hey, there we go. 17 runs. We got it. With the matching grip. Anemia. Am I saying it right? Uh, red text. Pins and needles. It shoots blood. Yeah, I remember it kind of. That's so cool. Admire the skin. Don't forget about that. Oh, beautiful. So we got that, which means now we have to get the other items. So I should probably pick up you. Another anemia. Wow. Dude. Okay, I was about to say that has to be. It. Come on. We got it. Woo. There it is. Torpid Massacre. It's a bloody mess. Okay. What do you do? It shoots blood. Dude, the chunk. Oh. I didn't put my shield back on. <laughs> but yeah, it shoots bloody chunks and they fall down. That's cool. This mod has thought out, you know, the whole theme too. Like blood, bloody harvest. Like, I love that. Like, a lot of, you know, thought was put into this mod. What is the next farm? Okay, the Hellbreath from Soli. I would assume he can, like, respawn, right? Dude, this SMG is pretty good. What about the launcher? Um, maybe if I get the spread shot, it could be, like, really good. We didn't get it. Try it again. Wait a minute. We got it. Okay. Hmm? Oh, it's a pistol. Oh, I thought it was a grenade. Okay, I'm a fire starter. Yeah, we got this in our old playthrough. But I cannot recall what it does. Yo, look at that skin, too. Mm -mm -mm. But unfortunately, it dropped it 20, so we cannot use it yet. But we will in a bit. Oh! Whoa! Okay, Devotion hits in a huge radius, too. Like, that one enemy tagged me, and the one behind him died. Interesting. We got more to farm. So, Jocks for the jack nade Meow. Bro, Skyrocket OP, man. Like, for real. But then again, it's good for farming, right? Dude, all I see is blood. So much blood. Yo, drop the thing, you won't. But, but, it's fine. We gotta farm it. Take that. And yeah, we'll get the shield after, but let's farm the, um, let's farm the grenade first. Oh, I forgot about this. Launchers make you run slow if you hold them. This guy's so healthy, man. Yo, level up. Dude, he gives so much XP too. Hold on, let me put on the new pistol. The, uh, hell breath. Ah, that's right. I remember that bullet pattern. Dude, that's so cool. Exo says to shoot it straight up, so we're gonna try this. Oh. Oh, dude. 
Right, because it keeps like shooting straight. Dude, it's still going off. Holy crap. That's huge. It's still going? Does it despawn ever? <laughs> oh, hey, we got it. There you are. We got the... Dude, it's still falling down. I shot that like an hour ago. Come on, man. It's infinite, really? So it just keeps like falling forever. Uh, not meant to be infinite. Oh, so it's an exploit. Gotcha. The Jackonade. Fire uh, with the fuse. Foolish fire for the red text. Uh, looks, you know, it's got the pumpkin look to it a little bit, right? Dude, decent damage. Not bad. Oh! Uh, why did I stand by it? <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, dude, the particles with the leaves, too. That's so cool. Bro, I love it. I love it. 10 out of 10. Candy bag from the trick-or-treat side mission. Yeah. If I recall, this shield was, like, really good. All right, you trick-or-treat let's do it bro i never do this mission ever oh dude i never noticed they used the jack mask for this dude huh got it let's farm all right bomb yo parts aren't bad cool oh there it is dude that's such a cool shield look at the the rainbow texture on it iridescent uh red text trick-or-treat and yeah chance to drop a candy when damaged i love that now, it's only a 6% chance, so not the, the most common. Oh, yo, there we go. And we get a booster. Look at that. Or we get a candy. Dude, on-demand speed at all times. This is also for, like, the base game, too. I can go back to the base game and put this on and get boosters. Or get candies. Isn't that cool? Yeah, Clark the Combusted Crypt Keeper for the Incinerator. We gotta get that. Okay, I've done this Easter egg so many times in the past. So hopefully I can remember all of them. And one here. Yep. Got that. And one over here. Beautiful. Got that. Ah, here we go. One there. Oh, wait, and over here. Yeah, there you are. Oh. So we triggered the TV. Cool. Got it. Hi, sir. Your TV's breathing. I'd get that checked out. Okay, the fastball. You gotta go. Bye. The nerf fastball. Take that. For the better. <laughs> First try. <laughs> what is this? Come on, man. Uh, I should probably pick it up. Why not? Oh, wait, no, church is open. Okay, church is done. We checked it out. Three. Yeah, so boss fight's the final one. We're good. We're good. We got them all. Nice. Do it again. Let's just be, like, super duper cheating and do a bunch of shots here. Okay. Dude, that is pure cheats, man. <laughs> uh, got him. Oh, we dropped another one. <gasps> Better fuse. Thank you. It is finally time to spawn the boss. Bro, this is such a cool Easter egg. Why didn't any of the other headhunters get, like, cool Easter eggs like this? Okay, Clark, you gotta go, bro. Again, it's a guaranteed drop, thank goodness. Oh, okay, we got it. I was about to say, wait, did we not get it? Dude, we got it. Let's go. The incinerator, and it dropped a 21 mole. Well, we're just about there. Hold up. Let me level. There we go. Level up, dude. Beautiful. Okay, point there. And the new item. Let's see. The incinerator. Burn the heretic. Uh, yeah, this is like a flamethrower, if I recall, right? Bro, that's so cool. Oh, dude, look at my mag size. Oh, it's like very close range. You resist. Okay, whatever. So quick. We have new items right now to farm in the main story. So, uh, let's get to it. Hold on, let me see what we have first. The brick work from the Iceman Comet. All right, no vacancy first. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, flamethrower, go. Rip, got it. Yo, guys, look at the mission. We just found Gearbox. And yeah, there it is. There it is. Before we do the mission, yo guys, it is time. Your name? Let's go. Flamestin. There we go. Got it. I can type, I swear. Cool. Yo, look at that. Candy in the base game. So cool. You know what? Keep shooting me. I want more candy. Look at that, man. I helped you warm up. You're welcome. So mission shows nothing. Turn it in. And we get the choice. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's a bug. It'll get fixed. Ah, uh, but yeah. There it is. The Brickworth. Drop it like it's hot. This sounds familiar. Wait a minute. Also slag. Oh, ammo regen. Ammo regen if you hold it. Yeah, I see it. That's it. Snoop Dogg reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deals increase reload at damage. Increase reload speed. Uh, and fast pistol ammo regeneration. I like that. Oh, bandit slaughter round five. The apex. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's try. Let's see what happens. I'm sure we'll be okay. All right, round one, done. Let's go. All right, round two. Hey, round two, done. Hey, round three, done. On to round four. 
Round four, complete. And finally, round five. And yeah, wait, hold on, what? All right, you get the hail still, but then you get the new item too. Let's do it. Hold on, down yourself. Yay, we did it. Nice. Round five, done. Let's farm. I'm not gonna farm it, I'll take whatever. Boom. So yeah, we have our normal hail and the apex. Ooh. Red text, multiple. Oh, wait a minute. Is it a moxie weapon too? TD or moxie? I think I remember you saying something about giving a moxie weapon for every manufacturer in the game. So this might be the TD or healing moxie weapon. Oh, whoa, dude, that could be overpowered. Imagine having sham on, you know, absorbing shots and then like having healing on demand. Cause dude, normally when you have like no enemies around, it's hard to heal. But now you can use that to heal on demand if you need it. Oh, also could be other elements too. We rolled slag apparently, whatever, it's fine. The Fury of the Firehawk. <gasps> it's a relic too, ooh, from the Pyre Thresher. We might be enemy locked, hold on. Oh, yo, there we go. Okay, so we were spawn locked, gotcha. There he is. Yo, drop thing, you won't. You won't do it. Ah, okay, launcher's not the strongest, but it does, you know, heal, which is cool. We did not get him. Yo, for Maya, we had the Wraith, which is a sniper comp for Jacobs. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, brand new. <gasps> he dropped it. All right, Fury of the Firehawk. I got to pick it up fast. Hold up. So fire damage, burn damage, ignite chance, uh, burn with fire for the red text. So dude, it's a fire relic, which synergizes perfectly with all of the bloody harvest stuff. Joey Kablooey. Dude, I forgot about Joey Kablooey. For the headbanger? Wait, did he drop that before? Oh, it is new item. Yeah, because I recall he dropped a relic in the, the past, right? So Joey Kablooey drops a brand new item we have not seen yet. That's cool. I think a long time ago you told me like he has to be killed, but if he explodes, you lose the, the chance for the drop. So yeah, he is a random spawn. We gotta find him. Uh, he can spawn anywhere in this map. Okay, where is... Jerk. <laughs> Why? Hey, I live. Take that. Dude, I'm scared. I'm like checking my bag every like two seconds. Wait. No, you're not the guy. Everything running at me could be Joey Kablooey. You never know. 50% chance to drop. Oh, it's only 50%. Gotcha. I mean, that's not too bad. Like if it was 10%, it'd be a lot of farming. Joey. I'm looking for you, bro. All right. Well, Joey doesn't want to show up. We'll farm him uh, tomorrow. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry, I'm a little bit far away. I'm here. Uh, question for today is going to be, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Now, I know that a lot of people probably don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but if you do, what are you going to be doing? Be sure to comment down below and you might be featured in the next episode. You guys have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Peace out.